Same as someone else is on it. A teacher. Ooh, are we saying big men this early? Show me! Show me the movie! Alright. Incidentally, you didn't happen to see Behemoth around anywhere, did you? He came here together, but he turned my head for a moment, and I happened to get a bearing before him. And suddenly, he's up and gone. Oh, but before I go, I have a piece of advice for you. The importance in a gift is not the gift itself, but the feelings behind it. Remember that, as you make your purchases, alright? Yeah, yeah, that was the moral of the story of Valentine Extravaganza, even though it wasn't a very amazing story. In fact, it was probably the worst story in the entire game. As you consider this, Little Salmon lunges for towards the present. Hoping to dark past your defenses. Almost instinctively, you bring your arm up to block his advance. And it's at that moment that you realize you've hit him. Oh no! I'm not talking to you! I'm leaving! And don't expect me to come answering even if you call. Let's see how you like being left alone all day and not being able to do Double Dragon. Peace! I wonder if we'll see these characters later, or if they're just for flavor for, you know, the prologue. Because sometimes characters that never show up appear in the beginning in the prologue. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll see those guys again. Maybe not Z's, but... Ugh. Probably Behemoths. Ah, uh, Behemoths. Remember that one event where they didn't solve his problems and lied to him? Yeah, I remember it, unfortunately. I wish I could forget it. I am but a mirror that reflects the reality of its preservers. So, if you see change in me, it is your own what you behold. Hmm. You do have a point. I would never imagine the day when you'd begin to speak some sense. Hit by that same logic, for you to remark on having seen such change in me suggests that you are not the same as before. Alright, alright, we got a character ghost. Mm, you're looking for me to fix your body up, no? Everything's good to go, so come on back and let's get started. <laughs> Much obliged. They'll be certain to refrain from sneaking in any extraneous functionality like last time, though, hmm? No promises! Touchdown's expression instantly changes. He begins to suck like a puppy caught in the hat. <laughs> so, you don't like the secret button that serves soup from your mouth when you push it? Laura suddenly grabs the scotty poker's whiskers from both sides of his face and he yanks them out. <laughs> oh my god. Why to scotty poker? Take a snapshot of that. <laughs> Wide. What do you even care? What do I care? How could I not care? I'm your... No! You're not! You're not my mother. Not my real one anyway. Ark went and said it. You're not supposed to say the thing! Ark, no! Ark went and said it. Ark went and said that, which definitely shouldn't have been said. Their face contorts with regret. Yeah. Uh, only wicked children fight with the one that's closest to them. Allow me to guide you to the dreadful world where you belong. Larson! Watch out! We got abducted! Oh no! No, please don't throw me into your room and take off all my clothes. Anything about that, Buggy Man. Please don't tie me up in chains and, like, keep me in your basement for the next two months. Please don't do that. Anything like that? No. <laughs> With no time to react, you find yourself fully enveloped in a strange old cloth of some sort. This is backing. The overwhelming task of creating an entire virtual world wound up being a surprisingly simple one. One could say that he provided the canvas and paints, and I got to work bringing the picture to life. As is my want. Don't mind the fact that I just plagiarized how it looks from uh, Nightmare Kingdom. show my chocolates for everyone. I hope Mr. Pokemon will also like us too. Oh my god, it's blue! It's Jurong! It's Jurong! Where were you going on Christmas? Did you make fun for me, Jurong? Oh! Do I know you? I don't think we ever met before. Miss Baby Boy Jurong. Jurong! 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 Please reprint soon. I must object. I'm a powerful king, feared by all. And I'm expected to make sweet chocolates. To do this, get out of here, remember? Besides, it's not so bad. Just make yours for Ethan. <laughs> An intriguing notion. I can picture the joy of my dear grandchild's face now. Hey, one can on it. He receives a locker full of chocolate every year. Ketchy finishes pouring the melted chocolate into the molds he's made. All that stuff not to do is wait for them to cool. This is about to put them in the fridge, however. Hey, 
catch he fucking dies. <laughs> Giant into chocolate plate. Yeah. Somebody help! I want to some strange chance felt I shock. Somebody hear something? I didn't. Let's move along. Well, they're eating him. Rest in peace, behemoth. Not of sounds. Okay, good riddance. It's not long before the cries of the children reach eats on his ears. Oh no! Turok! Turok, no! Turok! 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 Turok, no, my baby! <laughs> it's so sad. I swear to God, out of all the people's sad crying expressions, Turok is the most over-the-top sad. <laughs> it's too sad. Oh my God, I'm, I'm heartbroken. Oh my god, Chiron! He's so sad! <laughs> and I'm so sad too. Where were you this Christmas? Where were you this Christmas? Ours fear would be <laughs> It's funny because it's true. <laughs> my fear would be Behemoth's variant even existing. Laura begins approaching you from some distant lookout point. His body is covered in bruises and scars. Not that you could tell because he was fully closed. I bet you never sat on the shoulders of, on a giant before. There aren't many out there who've gotten the experience of something like this, so consider yourself lucky. <laughs> ah, that's cute! They actually did the, you know, the overlay there. <laughs> and look here! This is him practicing a song for the... <laughs> uh, that's cute! Stop! 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 Why didn't you even take all those? His face turning blood red, Mike Man tries to forcefully take the camera from Jong. <laughs> but Jong slips from his grasp and begins screaming about, cooing <laughs> wildly. <laughs> That's so cute! Okay, now I want to Mike Man Jong AR. I didn't realize your damn goes like this. Anyway, I should get going. Do your best. We'll cheer from the sidelines. No, Jong! Fades to the distance. Don't act all high mighty with us. You're just human. This ain't over till you're nice and snug in my belly. A little red. I mean, I might be down for a bit of work. Ark, behind you! Never mind, I got your back. You gotta do stuff too. Harrison. I owe you my life. Thank you for everything. I will now protect you forever and fall in love with you just like everyone else. End of emotion flickers across Ark's face. Go, go, go! Tell me what the four little Red Rider Hood. You can do this! Melt your faces off! With an annoying life in them are online, the child watches the fight with a strangely detached enthusiasm, eyes glistening as he sees the face of the wolf burn off and them withering in pain and dying. Ark is worried for the child as they might grow up to be a psychotic psychopath. Ark is reminded of what they were wearing and becomes momentarily self-conscious about it. Will you accept our protection? It would be our greatest honor to be your vassals. We are at your disposal. A small girl smiles. One eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims at the creature set, and then bang, bang, she shoots. <laughs> That's one way to end this story. A few weeks later, in uh, then I came across in Miss Red Riding Hood. But what a change! No cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, "Hello, and please note my lovely furry." <laughs> Wolves can go. <laughs> That's exactly how the story goes. Oh, such violence! Well, have it your way then. If it's a fight you want, then it's a fight you shall have. Oh no, they're gonna cleanse and remove buff us to death. And reduce our CP at a 40% rate. <laughs> I don't even remember what mermaids do. <laughs> I've come to get the two of you involved in something. Take a good look at this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a massive cock. I think it's you they're really after. We should do as they were signaling and run, Arthur. My secret artifact is crying out. It's telling me I got snubbed for an amazing five star and Laura got a busted one. It's completely not fair. It's also telling me I'm in capable of defying the king's will here. This entire scene needs to be animated. Ugh, yeah. I can just imagine, like, vividly, Buggy Man putting his hand on Isan's shin, looking him face to face, whispering to him, 
it's not your fault. It's mine. As he brings it up for a hug. Oh, I'm melting. Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm being a bit too much like Hecate here. Let's continue. <laughs> Leave the combat strategizing to me. It may surprise you to learn that Balor is not the only expert in the field. Believe it or not, I'm a five-star too. Balor lifts you up like a statue, ensuring he doesn't so much as slightly loosen your chains. He then slips beneath you so that he's the one sitting on, seated on the throne. Are we sitting on his cock right now? Once he's settled, he plops you right onto his cock. Next, he begins to uh, push your shoulders down uh, gently as if he's uh, trying to fit his entire giant cock into your ass, uh, handling something precious and delicate. <laughs> I've waited so long for this moment. With you here like this, there's no reason to feel sore anymore. Only love filling your gut. He cut to the chase. Why are you doing this? <laughs> and trust yourself to his massive cock. He continues to uh, push you down onto his cock in silence until he finally seems satisfied. So your stalwart refusal to engage me is not going to have the effect you're hoping for. I will not rage, except if it's my raging cock in your ass. Lore readjusts uh, your position on his lap and begins to show you his love inside you once more. But in the real world, you're constantly fighting. We both are. Why bring that here as well? Why fight this? I want to argue with that, but I can't. And in some ways, living in peace here, sitting on your cock would be nice. Double <laughs> trade with Lore and Dissamna. I mean, if we're doing it with Dissamna, it would be trouble penetration, but... And this because if you've already won, I'll have you know the future of this world has yet to be determined. It's true. You're not quite the invincible king here that you seem to think you are. I'm just imagining them right now, Boogeyman and Isamna holding hands as they're telling Ballora. <laughs> oh my god, I shipped them. The logic is as long as they are hot, they can kidnap us any time. Zavi has it. Zavi's correct. We'll get you out of here in no time. Just sit tight on Ballora's cock. Alright, this uh, battle is pretty interesting. Uh, Ballora is still holding on to his convictions. It's not like it was a misunderstanding. It literally was just, you know, he wanted to abduct us for his own sort of personal musings while he made a sit on his cock, which, you know, is not the worst fate to have. Uh, Ballora needs to be put in his place, and his place is in my bed. <laughs> Would I, you know, die by sitting on his cock and live forever like that? Yes. Uh, would I want to kiss him and marry him? Eh, probably not. <laughs> Very important difference. Yeah. A flurry of bullets heals from Ark's gun as their fiery chains jet across the room. Yet Ballora is able to easily defect each and every attack with virtually no effort whatsoever. On Ballora, that's not how your kit works. You're supposed to take full damage from every attack since you have no defense buffs. At the very last moment, Ballora stretches out his arms and grabs hold of you, tucking you in close. Fucking you in close. You're a wily one, my grandchild. <sighs> Thought I was a goner there. Rest your head on his cock. While Ark and Ketchy leap into the air to give each other a high five. Yeah! Stupid old lizard. I don't recall you ever being this pushy before. Did Boogeyman rub off on you? No, but we did rub off against each other. Huh? 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 Wait. Doesn't that mean... No, Buggy Man's gonna be gone! No, Buggy Man! Buggy Man, stay! No, not the sad music! Not the sad map music. And you, my dear, sweet Professor Itzomna. Buggy Man, I'll go in with the formalities. This may be the last time we speak. Please, address me. As the lovers, we are. Sweetheart, then. No professor. Uh, they should have kissed. Ah, uh, yeah, they should have. They should have kissed with Itzamna's lizard tongue slipping down his throat and Boogeyman grabbing onto his lizard ass and ah. Uh, uh, okay, I mean, how could he? Too much. <laughs> he tries hard to suppress his tears, not wanting to leave on too sad a note, but the tears insist on coming anyway, running down his cheeks in a well defined tracks. I wanted, I wanted to journey with you, you know, 
I can't tell you how much I was looking forward to spending the days ahead with you all in Tokyo. I wish I'd spent more time talking with you, getting to know you. I guess I'm not ready. I still want to. <laughs> oh no, and that's his final line? <laughs> he still wants to live? No! Before he can finish his final thought, the last particle of light flares up in the air and disappears. And just like that, Buggy Man is gone. He, even Belor cried. He rubbed everyone off. What a cool guy. Yeah. Valentine's fancy and eternal fatal and proceed to epilogue. That is okay. Usually these chapters end like with some kind of okay. This is that's actually a sad ending. I know that he's probably gonna be fine in the epilogue, but let's be real. This is like th this counts as you know the first ending. This is the, f the very first time we had an ending that was just like sad and miserable, at least for an event. Just been plenty for <laughs> main quest. Oh my god, Valentine fantasy. It's so good. I love the story. Boogie man. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. The story's so good. Valentine Fet Fantasy Epilogue. But yeah, they should do more stories like this. Ah, uh, That's cute. Hey, you uh, cool cat! I had so much fun going on that adventure with you. I have to go back sometime with everybody, and hopefully we can bring little someone too! Please don't ever hesitate to come in uh, your time of need. I am forever your ally, Arthen. My dear grandchild, let's meet again soon. I'll come prepared to answer for what I put everyone through. But do you know this? I've packed more semen into my chalk than the rest of those jokers combined. Yeah! <laughs> Yay, that's not true! I put even more semen and attention to the big, big wine than you can even comprehend! Besides, it goes without saying that my chocolate contains the most semen. You all know it. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's sweet of them. As well as their semen. What happened to him and Behemoth anyways? Behemoth remained in the Never Never Land and never returned to our normal place. Forever never. It's a nice feeling, being loved so warmly. I need to properly thank them. And there are sex quests. I mean, special quests. Actually, a secret. Whoa! 